In this video, we're going to look at masonry. Zoom on the exterior wall, you will be able to see almost every brick. So click and select a wall panel. From the property window, you can see the wall assembly is brick on metal studs. Click edit type. Click on the edit structure. You will be able to see almost uh, every element in the wall assembly. If you have trouble in seeing the picture, you have to click on the preview button to show all the elements from outside to inside. Brick is 3 5 8 out of three dimensions we have. This is the thickness. The brick is just a veneer. It's not taking any structural loads. In addition to brick veneer, we're going to look for the mason wall from inside of the building. On the ground floor, look at interior partitions. You can see most of them are just a metal stud with a gypsum board on each side. However, we can see the elevator shaft and also staircase enclosure. According to the building code, those walls will need to be masonry with concrete foundation. The reason is to satisfy fire rating requirements. The current design in the model is not enough. View 3D. Our challenge for today is to figure out how many bricks we need. Of course, take the time, select each wall panel, look into the property, find out the square footage, and multiply that number by seven. Seven stands for seven bricks per square foot. You work on one panel at a time. Finally, you add up all the numbers. You will get the total number of bricks. Another way is just to do a quantity schedule. Go to View, Schedules, Material Takeoff, Pick Walls, Change the Name, Pick Fields, Assembly Code, Assembly Description, Family and Type, The Length of the Wall, The Height of the Wall, A couple of things associated with Material, Material Area, and the Material Name. If we want to get the total number of bricks directly, we can just make a new field. Call this brick. We want the whole number of bricks, so put integer. For the formula, we're going to pick material area times 7 to get the number of bricks. But before we do that, we need to take the area divided by 1 to take out the unit. Otherwise, you will be getting the area instead of the total number of bricks. On the filter, put the name of the material to be masonry brick. Sorting and grouping, check grand total. Formatting, we're going to calculate the total for the area and also the total number of bricks. Our schedule will show the total square feet of the wall, which is length times height, also the number of bricks. Wish you enjoyed this short tutorial. We'll see you next time.